Welcome to my old subscribers, welcome to my new ones. This is uh, Hongan Chris from La Belle Vie's Voodoo Temple. Today I'm going to talk about a very ancient spirit, um, the snake, the, the serpent Dambala. Um, but I'm going to call him down first with a little song. And um, and after that, I'm going to go into details um, about the importance of the the spirit and why we serve him and uh, the purpose. Um, he's widely served not only in Zudu, but it's uh, in all almost all ancient traditions you have um, the serpent as an important uh, spirit that is being served and he goes he goes into jewelry he goes into big formations huge formations in the ground and he used to make the Vikings used to make the rings as well of the serpent so we're gonna go into that soon Nous tous ces anges, I am by same way, dans bala we do, I da we do, nous tous ces anges, I am by same way. Nous tous ces anges, I am by same way. Nous tous ces anges, I am by same way, dans bala we do, I da we do, nous tous ces anges, I am by same way. I am the same way. I am the same way. I believe. So as you see, um, I have a white shirt, but I have black pants. Normally, me when you, uh, but I'm not in a like I said before, I'm not in a ceremonial setting. So, um, so, uh, but when you in a ceremony and they serve the Radha spirits, you're white, you're white, you're clean, you're pure. These are the root loa. However, let's go into uh, Dambala Wedo or Odan in Haitian Voodoo practice. Uh, he's considered. Like I said in the beginning, most one of the most ancient spirits. He's considered as the king of pure essence. That's what I see him as. The father of the mystery and the creator of life itself after God. He's a very wise spirit. Even though he doesn't speak, his wisdom surpasses, you know, what even words can begin to describe. So, he is basically the connector of life and the amplifier of the visible and the invisible world. While um, while Legba opens the doors, he it said that I heard in a song. I don't remember the song right now in Creole. It was talking about the spirit, spirits, the Loa riding on Lambala's back, because he's everything. If you look. At it 
in a scientific perspective. Um, you also see the, the formation of DNA goes in a spiral. Uh, every atom, every electron, every particle vibrates. You know, um, but that's from a scientific perspective. Also, um, I want to talk about before I start. Uh, there's certain religions that have a negative aspect of the serpent. I see the serpent as something evil. I see the serpent as the manifestation of the devil. I'm talking about Christianity, for example. And why do you think? Um, why do you think that is? Why do you think that is? This is this is our world right here. The earth is our mother. The earth is our creator. The earth is the source and the spirit are part of the earth. People don't ima can't imagine how big the, the Loa are. They don't understand because when we think of, when we think spirit, we automatically uh, think about a dead person, right? Right? Or a dead. And we measure it by the I'm a tiny person, right, in this big world. But the Lua, they fill the world. That's the difference. The big, the huge, you know. And um, every cause, every thing, every living thing, and every particle of this earth has has a Lua as a spirit however let's get into the serpent theory um, from a Christian perspective you know uh, the deceiver that uh, fooled Adam and Eve and made uh, was it Adam that ate the apple or was it Eve I believe it was Adam who was fooled and tricked by Eve to eat the apple of wisdom, right? Okay, so the snake came down and basically gave them the uh, access to wisdom, right? So, um, based on, let's, let's look at it in a different perspective. Religion, politics, authority. Um, secret sects um, of course you know people can use and abuse the power but do you really think and let's go even further back you know from the beginning of time where they formed the first uh, tower the first tower of um, authority, you know, the first tower that created um, authority, the Tower of Babel, of course, that's what I'm referring to, and um, they try to build it up to the sky, but those people, do you think they wanted, um, wanted you to have the knowledge? And the power to be able to build yourself, to be able to be great, to be a threat. Because that's what it is about. If you get too high in the levels, you become a threat of power for those who want power. They don't want that. They want cattle. They want servants. They want people to serve them. They want sheep to follow. They want you to blindly follow they want you to read a book and blindly follow whatever the book says but that's not what truth is about truth is about sensation and feeling and being connected to where you're from your circumstance so they made the main spirit the connector the amplifier the vibration of the world evil so you don't look in that direction and you're scared, right? You run away. That's something to think about. That's my perspective. 
Um, other than that, you know, um, Odan is married to a female spirit, which is called Aida Wedo. Uh, she's considered the rainbow spirit. And we use um, St. Patrick for the representation with Dambala. You see St. Patrick here. And uh, the only thing he misses is the snakes he usually has. And you see his colors is green. And uh, the color green most likely comes from uh, the python. That's, that's the largest snake that we have. And also he's, he's not, you know, he crawls in trees and it's not a poisonous snake though it can be you know um it crushes it can crush you um but the, the point is that uh, it's it's big and that's a symbolic representation as well um aida wedo is uh, usually depicted as um saint martha and you'll know the black woman with uh, with uh, with the snakes around her as well dressed in um, green clothes um, that's a I believe that's a African or Orisha I'm not sure um, but um, we also let me see we also say You see how the green light it went out. So I'm gonna light it again. Because when we light the seven day candle, we keep it lit for seven days. And that's for a reason we don't wanna break whatever we asked for. And seven is a sacred number. So usually I use the depiction of the saint, or I use just a plain green candle. Today I use the uh, open the roads candle for a purpose and I want things um, to go peaceful on my path and so that which I need in my life um, manifest itself in a big way you know and I also was thinking about my YouTube viewers, people who watch my video. So you also may have your ways opened up so the spirit may see you. So the spirit may help you grow and be connected to the truth and give you and serve you the truth. Also you see, I serve water the essence of life itself also Dambala Wedo and Aida Wedo like Pompeia perfume I just have a tiny bit left so I need to get a new bottle or we sprinkle it for Dambala Wedo and Aida Wedo for their presence and their love the scent it's strong and it's it's pure also you see syrup the orgat or almond syrup and this is also a sweet drink in white Dambala Wedo and Aida Wedo take white foods in general. It doesn't mean that we serve them anything that is white, but white foods. Also, you see. Here that I have flour. White flour and two white eggs, one for Dambala Wedo and one for Aida Wedo.
and all of this has been before I made the video presented properly and uh, served um, and uh, like I said I, I did a little ceremony before the video you might ask how long the eggs can be out uh, and it takes actually two to three months before the egg uh, starts to rot because it doesn't get it's so impacted it packed in um, that it does no air comes in so it takes a long time for egg to rot so what you can do is you can feel the weight of it and if it's light it's it's time to um, to renew both the flour and the eggs the renew the sacrifice give a new sacrifice um, they also take uh, white or green cakes milk um, there's no drinking alcohol smoking before serving these spirits they are pure um, and as sacrifice they take white rooster for special requests when Dambala comes down um, mounting a person the person starts to crawl as a snake and hisses as a snake as well in a ceremonial context or if the spirit comes down when we have a little uh, gathering you know um, Voodoo service, a fet that we call it. We put a white sheet on the mounted person, and to cool, and we start to cool the spirits with the uh, with the sheet, and uh, we sprinkle the Pompeia perfume. Um, Dambala belongs to the. Rada nation you know and that's the spiritual primary spiritual nation of what we call the Vut Loa that's the first ones that are served um, and he's you know like I said he's uh, associated with pure essence of life so that's why it's important um, to approach with purity um, it's often also depicted, well, not every every Omfu or temple does that, but usually, or you know, it's you can see on the Potomitam, which is a pole that we put in the temple, in the shrine, um, I mean, in the temple, in the middle of the um, temple, usually, and that represents the center symbolically of the world and the universe so often on the Potomitan as well the center pole you see the snake either painted or carved in um, other than that you know uh, if there's any questions don't hesitate to ask um, don't forget to subscribe uh, click like if you like the video and also um, I have a website that uh, you can look at if you want to know more about me and also more about my works uh, I have blogs there and also all my videos automatically get transferred to my website um, I'm going to put a link my website is basically www.hunganikris h-o-u-n-g-a-n-k-r-i-s dot com again thank you for watching this video and uh, may, may uh, peace and prosperity be with you may you make the wise choice um, and uh, May the doors be open for you, for you no matter 
for you struggle with so you may find the answer or the person that can help you to achieve what you desire I book